Well, I can't tell you what an honor it is to be sitting here today with Dr. Nazar Tanir uh, from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, Dr. Tanir runs the kidney cancer program at MD Anderson and has a wealth of clinical trials under his belt. Dr. Tanir, thanks so much for coming today. Thank you for the opportunity, uh, Monty. It's always a pleasure to be with you. A lot of my patients in clinic ask me, when should I potentially get screened for a familial syndrome? I know you have a lot of experience with this. Well, I think, you know, obviously, if there is family history, that will raise the uh, flag, uh, and if the patient is young. And I think the NCI has recently published uh, a, a, uh, a paper looking at that question, and it appears to be that patients who are younger than 46 years of age uh, will uh, have a higher uh, probability of uh, having a, an inherited syndrome or a familial syndrome. So I think we do encourage patients to, at MD Anderson, we do have a center for a clinical genetics, uh, a center for uh, patients who we suspect, whom we suspect having a familial uh, syndrome. And we send those patients and we encourage their families to be also tested. So obviously, if there is family history, strong family history, first deg degree blood, uh, if the patient is young, under 46 years of age, and especially if they have bilateral disease, as you well know, patients who have uh, tumors in both kidneys also will have a higher uh, uh, probability of having a, an inherited syndrome or a familial syndrome. Very well said. Thank you so much, Dr. Tanir. Thank you for the opportunity, Matthew.